everybody. So I wanted to do a quick comparison of these prints before I didn't have everything in one place. So I got my sprocket today, made all sorts of happy noises when I got it. I wanted to show that there are some serious color reproduction changes between the three pictures. So this is a selfie, this is the sprocket, and this is the Instax. And you will see this is the best of the color reproductions to the original picture. So if you really care about color reproduction, go with the technology of the selfie, which is also in the Kodak that is in a two by three shape of picture. So you can kind of have the best of both worlds. I wanted the sticker back specifically. So that's one of the reasons I asked for my birthday, the sprocket. But as you can see here, the color reproduction between the two is pretty different. One is warmer than the other, and the sprocket is well known for having warmer color tones. You can see in this picture here also that there's some hotness here in my feet, which I took a picture, this was off of Instagram. The original picture does not have those hot spots in it, so I'm really gonna have to learn to tinker with the pictures. This should have been redder, and it wasn't, and this picture I took because it had all sorts of cute little things I could put on the pictures and I wanted to try that and put it into my journal. So back over to the serious uh, portion of this. So the Instax picture is darker. Um, so what you're looking at here is, and the floors are a great way to see this. You can see all the gradation here, you can see it all here, but it's warmer and it's just darker here more than anything else. And I've used the Instax for our whole project of building our house. So they really have, you know, depending on what you're gonna use them for. And I really have loved it. And I love the overlays you can get for it and all sorts of neat stuff. So I do feel like even though it's darker it does have pretty decent color matching. I wish they had a color profile that you could actually get into for these, but it's really gonna mean that either I change the color uh, right before I print it or I leave them as is. And, and in this case, I bought the sprocket, or asked for the sprocket, I should say, because I wanted ease of use. And so I wanted the sticker backs. I wanted to be able to um, carry this. This is a B6 Slim, I mean, you, I mean, that's seriously sexy. That is some small, that is a small printer. The, I mean, it could fit inside the Instax. And I have truly loved this printer and it's gotten tons of use. So I just wanted everybody to realize that there are some color differences. And if you're gonna get picky about those, like I would if I was trying to do proper photography reproduction, um, I might get really, packed that this is so much smaller than or sorry so much warmer than it should be um but i'm not not for what i'm using it for i'm wanting to get pictures out i'm wanting to get them into my journal fast and the sprocket actually meets those requirements if i'm going to want something big from now on i'm probably going to go to my large canon printer and just print out four by six pictures because Honestly, I'm tired of cutting these down. So, it, you know, at worst case, I'm gonna cut one of these in half and that's about it. And I'm really not comfortable with cutting these. So if you do a lot of cutting pictures, that's something else to think of if you're thinking about getting an Instax. So anyway, so here's my little bit about them. Um, make your own choices. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me because I actually researched every single one of the printers that's out there at the moment. And, you know, if you're, if you're looking for something special, I probably can tell you exactly which one's probably up your alley. But if you're wanting true colors, then maybe you wanna stick with the selfie and, or the Kodak. Um, and if I was doing this all over again and didn't have any of these to start with, I would say I'd probably go for the Kodak. Um, it's just not my favorite type of processing where it pulls it back in and shoots it back out and pulls it back in and shoots it back out. I want a little picture to pop out of it and that's it. I love the Instax and I'll probably keep it around for my granddaughter more than anything else. So there you go. Hopefully this was helpful.